That's so good, that, you know. That's unreal. I think I just want to say at this point that in the tips that we have filmed so far, for me on a personal level, this has been the most beneficial. Staying connected throughout that swing has been so, so good throughout my game right now. I'm delighted I found the art of simple golf. One of the big difficulties with the golf swing is understanding where your arms should be and what impact they have throughout the golf swing in terms of, in the backswing in particular, chicken wing, those elbows flying around all over the place can be really off-putting, irritating, you become very much disconnected and it has a huge impact on your swing. In today's video, I'm going to come up with a solution to resolve all that, give a better understanding of where your arm should be from that address position and make the whole swing a whole lot easier. It's going to come to you from the Art of Simple Golf, a channel which is producing some great content and the idea of simple golf, well that sounds perfect to me. Now the first thing to point out is this is going to work throughout the swing, so whether it's with your wedges, whether or not you've got an iron in hand or whether you've got driver, this principle just adopt it into everything. And like I said, it's all about connection to the body because I don't know about you, but there's nothing worse than sort of feeling disconnected, which is what we don't want to do. And trying to work out where our arms are in the backswing in particular for me is one that is a real struggle. Now I've tried sort of keeping the sort of elbow tucked in, which can mean I sort of turn a little bit flat and that concentration doesn't work at all. And this kind of ensures that you get in a position that is really, first of all, adopting a good posture at address and then allows you to swing through the whole swing with your arms connected to your body and it's a great feeling. The irons or the wedges and the drive that you've seen me hit so far this morning have all been adopting this principle. It's dead simple. Now I played with my nephew the other night and he's addressing the ball with just sort of these bent arms and every now and again he'll get the ball good but every now and again not so good and it's eradicating those problems so first thing we do we obviously want to get our arms straightened out a little bit to get some consistency in terms of that impact location but then it's where do these the top of our arms how do they stay connected to our body and not ensuring this kind of thing well there's a very very simple process that you undertake and I'm going to cut through a lot of what the art of simple golf sort of um, talks about and I'm going to get right to the point and it's dead dead simple this one hold the golf club out in front of you straighten those two arms and then pinch the inside of your forearms together when I say pinch push them both together then what you'll feel is a little bit of a connection between your bicep, your inner bicep or your tricep there into your chest muscle. Once you get that feeling and once you feel some connection between those two on both arms left and right, then start to lower down. And what happens is you'll feel that your arms are on top of your chest and not at the side of it. And that's a huge, huge big difference in this ability to stay connected. So arms out in front, just your normal um, adopt your position. Straighten them out a bit. We're not tensing the life out of this thing. We're not going to become super rigid all of a sudden. Squeeze those arms in, but more importantly, feel them touching your chest muscles, and then you're going to lower down. Now, it's at this point that I can start to feel a difference. I feel my arms in front of my chest, like I said, as opposed to what I would naturally adopt with alongside the chest. And that's the first thing that makes a big, big difference. But there's a simple drill to make sure that you're getting this process right. And it's not just at the address position. You're going to remain, keep that sort of squeeze, if you like, throughout the swing. And first of all, it gets you in a much better position in the back swing through impact and then obviously to complete the swing as well. And this is how the drill goes. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf mega store, bringing you the hottest deals in golf. And of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Is that just a little bit short and left? Yeah, it is. And all we played that with, I bounced over the bunker. Now what you'll see is I've got a tee peg underneath, if I can find this one in my shirt, I've got two tee pegs that were tucked underneath my armpits. What's the reason for that? Well, basically it's quite simple and I've probably already worked this out. It helps you stay connected throughout the swing and it helps you sort of that pinch in motion. Now I've got to be perfectly honest with you, I find this a really, really difficult exercise to do, but it sort of exaggerates our feel, if you like, and that's something that's really important because what I then did was drop the ball 
get into my position without the T-pegs and I got a much better understanding and feeling of that connection throughout the swing. So I understand it in principle to exaggerate a feel, but it's not something I felt particularly comfortable executing. That felt just a little bit difficult for me to execute the shot. And the big deal for me, I always said throughout the testing the tip series, I will report back what I find. I like a huge amount of this. The simplicity of it is really good. It's improved my strike over the last few days considerably and I've adopted it into every shot that I hit. Hence, I'm reporting it back to you. The one thing that I've got an issue with slightly personally is when I'm in particular post impact is I'm just struggling a little bit in that connection phase. And that's something that I've just got to work out for myself. And if, a bad, if I hit a bad shot, it's just leaving it out a little bit to that right hand side. So that again, is just me working out how to, <coughs> excuse me, adopt this principle into my game. Because like I said, with all these tips on this channel, there's no kind of like, there's no magic uh, potions. You know, you ain't gonna all of a sudden start walking up to the ball, stick a couple of tee pegs under your armpits and start firing wedges into pins. That's not how it works. But there might be a little bit of a snippet that you can take and the art of simple golf has definitely given me something that has helped me better understand, like I said, that feeling of connectivity throughout the swing. And at no point have I ever pinched my sort of uh, arms together and no point have I got my arms in front of my chest in all the times that I've played golf and straight away me adopting this position just at the address position I feel like I look a whole lot more solid in terms of my uh, address my stance feels really good it gets me in a much more upright position in my backswing so for that alone I really would encourage you to try this one out for yourselves like I said that's my interpretation of it. Go and check out The Art of Simple Golf. It's got some really good, very simple, as the title suggests, uh, nuggets of information that could unlock a little bit of success in your golf game. So go and check one out for the full explanation on his channel. I'm gonna carry on practicing that one, but I really do believe it is worth giving a go. And uh, you're watching this on possibly one of two channels right now, either our original channel, which is The Average Golfer, or Testing the Tips. Either way, I appreciate your support, and I would ask you to make sure that you subscribe to both because we've got plenty of content coming your way, and hopefully I'm trying to make my game a little bit better and hopefully improve yours along the same time. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very soon.